Hey, what's up guys, Ollie here. So I've been using the Apple Watch Series 4 for just over six months now. Wanted to give you a sort of long-term review on it, tell you what I think about it and whether I think it's worth it. So I've said a couple of times that the Apple Watch Series 4 was my favorite product of 2018. Now, there are a few reasons as to why that is. You know, I used the previous Apple Watch. I got the first generation Apple Watch and I used that every single day since its release. I used it every single day and it was just a good extension from my phone. It was nice to be able to have I guess like a mini iPhone on your wrist. That's what I liked about it. So I was very looking forward to the update to the Series 4. The Series 4 came out with a slight redesign, nothing radical, just a few sort of finer adjustments, finer things here and there, just making it a more polished product. So I went with the stainless steel black edition. A few reasons as to why I went for this one specifically. Obviously the design, the look, the color, I think it looks fantastic. I love how it has an all black look to it. I think it looks very classy and understated. And because it's made out of stainless steel, it's very, very tough and very, very strong. You know, aluminum is quite a soft metal. Stainless steel is much stronger and stainless steel also holds that better against scratches. And as you can see, since I've had this watch, there are pretty much no scratches on the watch at all. And it's not like I'm very delicate with the watch. I wear it every single day. I wear it to the gym. I wear it all the time pretty much. I don't take it off throughout the day. I always keep it on. It's been scraped, it's been dropped, it's been rubbed, it's been gone through everything. And there is not a single scratch on the watch, so I'm super impressed. Whatever layer or whatever sort of coating Apple have added to the screen has really done a fantastic job of making sure that there's no scratches, no blemishes that you can see on the watch itself. This is the 40 millimeter version. If you had a 38 millimeter version previously, you'd wanna get the 40 millimeter version. Um, the actual size of the watch is exactly the same. It's just the screen is bigger. So if you have small wrists like I do, I went with the 40 mil. I just thought that the 44 was just a bit too large for me. I used the official Apple Watch link bracelet. This is also in stainless steel black. This actually came with my first generation Apple Watch and I simply just switched it over and I think it matches very well, it looks very good. So there's quite a few use cases for the watch. Everyone's use case is gonna be different. So I wanted to sort of just list what I use it for and why I use it and how it sort of benefits me. So I use it at the gym or when I'm doing workouts or whatever. I think a lot of people get an Apple Watch for tracking their workouts and things like that, especially if you get one of the cheaper aluminum ones. You know, it's a great way to just track workouts and things like that. So yeah, I use it at the gym to track my workouts, but it's not just tracking workouts. I also use it to control music. Being able to leave my phone in my bag or in my pocket and just being able to control my music, whether it be changing tracks or whether it be changing volume, I can do that through the Apple Watch. So I don't have to, you know, mess around with my phone I can just leave my phone down and just adjust things from the watch itself notifications is a big one I use my Apple watch to track my most important notifications you know you can filter your notifications so you have the most important ones come to your watch you know I love to be able to see messages quickly um, emails or whatever else just very quickly very quick glance you know without having to get out of my phone so that then I know if I need to act on it right there and then or not the infograph watch face is probably one of my favorite features with the series 4 because you can only get it on this series 4 you can't get it on previous Apple watches and this infograph watch face is just perfect for looking at information quickly and at a glance you know you can't even do that on your iphone lock screen for example i've set mine up where you can see things like the weather i can see the calendar i can see my activity i can see timers i can also see when sun rises or sunset is things like that you can customize it however you like you can have all your important information being shown at a glance on the watch face so i think this is fantastic you know if you wanted to check the weather you wanted to check your timers all things like that if you want to do that on your phone you have to go through various apps to do all of that but with the watch and the infograph watch face you can see all of that right there and then i even sometimes use my watch to answer calls and from my experience no one has even noticed that i've used my watch to answer a call you know it just sounded like a normal phone call and it actually works really well surprisingly well the speaker in the watch itself is very loud the mic seemed to be clear enough because i haven't had any issues from anyone no one's complained that I sound fuzzy or I don't sound clear. So yeah, very impressed actually how you can really have a proper phone call with your Apple Watch. I think when it comes down to it, the Apple Watch is basically a mini extension to your phone, to your iPhone. Being able to have information at a glance on your Apple Watch, on your wrist, without having to get your phone out or leaving your phone in your bag is where the Apple Watch really excels. That's what it's meant to do. And I think it does it incredibly well. You know, I don't have any performance issues with my Apple Watch. 
ridiculously fast, amazingly quick, very responsive, and shows me all the things I want to see right there and then. So if you're someone who goes to the gym, who works out a lot, things like that, I think the Apple Watch will definitely be a good purchase for you, especially if you go with one of the cheaper aluminium versions. I mainly went with the stainless steel just because I like the look, I like the premium feel, I like the premium materials. You know, it's quite a bit more expensive, but the aluminium ones I think are quite fairly priced. And, you know, when you consider them to other high-end watches, other watches that are made out of the same sort of materials, Apple Watch is actually very reasonably priced, I think. And I think the Apple Watch can easily go two, three, four years without needing an upgrade. You know, you might see some degrade in battery life. However, for the battery life that I've had on my Apple Watch over the last six months, it's fantastic. I usually easily get two days, but I like to charge it every night anyway. I just get battery anxiety, so I charge it every night anyway. But if you're someone who doesn't want to charge every night, I think you could easily get two days from the Apple Watch Series 4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.